In this video, we will design a circuit that performs binary counting. In previous videos, we studied the binary counting sequence. We examined two number systems that use this sequence. Which system we use is a matter of interpretation. From a design point of view, we just wish to obtain the required binary sequence. We will design a two-bit counter which we will interpret using the unsigned integer representation. A 2-bit counter counts up from 0 to 3. After 3, the counter will automatically preset to 0. The overall design will consist of a count up input that rising edge triggers each count. Our counter will also have a manual preset input. The manual preset is an input by which the user can asynchronously reset the count to zero. The output x consists of two bits, x0 representing the least significant bit and x1 representing the most significant bit. Note that because of the order of these outputs, when read as numbers, these outputs must be read from right to left. There are many ways of implementing counters. Our design goal is to produce a counter that follows a counting algorithm. In our video on binary counting, we described one such algorithm. Step 1. We toggled the least significant bit at each count. Step 2. We toggled the most significant bit when the least significant bit transits from 1 to 0. Note that this would also take into account the auto preset. Since this design is based on the toggle function, we will construct the circuit using rising edge triggered JK flip flops with both the J and K inputs tied to 1. For each flip flop used, the manual preset is implemented by connecting this input to the asynchronous reset of each flip flop. The first flip-flop we construct is that for the least significant bit. Since data transfer is usually represented from left to right, it is conventional to put this flip-flop at the left end of the design. This is why, as a number, the counter output is read from right to left. According to our algorithm, this flip-flop must toggle at each count. Hence, we connect the count up input directly to the clock input of that flip flop. The flip flop will then toggle at each count up trigger. Again, according to the algorithm, the flip flop representing the most significant bit toggles at the falling edge of the output of the other flip flop. Since we have chosen rising edge flip flops, this is implemented by connecting the Q bar output of the first flip-flop. This dual flip-flop counter will now perform the necessary binary counting function. Because the two flip-flops are not connected to the same clock input, this counter is called an asynchronous counter. Specifically, the flip-flop on the right must wait for the full operation of the flip-flop on the left before it begins its own operation. This is called a ripple effect. For this reason, the asynchronous counter is also called the ripple counter. Because of the ripple effect, there is a glitch whenever the most significant bit is required to toggle. This is because in these situations, the least significant bit must first transit from one to zero and only then does the most significant bit toggle. This glitch will last for the propagation delay of the second flip-flop. 